We're going to take a look at a fairly advanced Alpha Anywhere application that you can build in a couple of hours. What you're seeing here is a list of customers that's being pulled from a back-end SQL database. And using a swipe gesture, you can smoothly scroll through the list. By tapping on a customer in the list, a detail screen slides in where you can make edits to the live data. And tapping the menu button, a drop-down menu appears, giving you more options for the customer you selected. Here we've clicked Orders, and this order list has appeared. By clicking on an order, you can drill down further to see the items in a particular order. You can also see your data represented as charts, and there are buttons for navigation to bring you from page to page. Looking back at the menu, we can also choose Map to plot the geographic location of the customer. Your data can also include photos, and because in this case the app is running on a device equipped with a camera, you could take pictures and add them to the database, like we're doing here. When the images submit, the new picture appears on the list. There's also a side menu over here that lets you look at different data. In this case, we've selected orders, and we have this slider control on top, which we're using to select a group of order by their order totals. The application also has a section for an employee list, again complete with pictures. Alpha Anywhere also lets you do reports. Here we've built a selection screen and we're choosing to do a report on customers based on the countries in which they live. We've selected Germany and Ireland, and a report appears in which customers from Germany and Ireland are grouped into two lists. This is one of the many options you have when you're creating a report. Last but not least, you can use the advanced search capabilities to find customers using a multitude of criteria. Here we're just searching for customers in London. And voila, here they are. Now this application doesn't just work well on smartphones, it also works well on tablets, laptops, and desktop computers. And in a later video, you'll see step-by-step -step instructions for how it's built. You'll also be able to download the project source files, so you can adapt it for your own use if you want to. Thanks for watching.